Hey guys, what is up? This is James and welcome to another Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can do keyframe animation in Adobe Premiere Pro. So I have already opened the last project that we have made yesterday. If you haven't followed that tutorial, I will highly encourage you to watch that tutorial first. Then you come here and watch this one. So here I want to animate this video. So if I play it back, I've been learning filmmaking for a long time. Maybe six this is too much static for me. I want to have a gradual increment. I want to have a zooming effect when the video is playing back right so to do that i have to use the technique that is called keyframe animation if i select the video and if i go to at the starting of this video then if i go to control panel effects control panel if you don't see you can go uh, here on this window section and from here you can select effects control that will appear this window and from there you have to animate this thing how you can animate if you see any stopwatch of any properties in adobe premiere pro you can animate that thing that is the key thing to animate any object animate any photo animate any video in adobe premiere pro so what is actually do if i want to have a zoom in effect what i have to do i have to change the scale value right if i increase the scale value then this video will zoom in right but if i play it back you will you will not see any motion because i have already changed the position so here it is not holding any value to hold a value we have to use keyframe animation so in premiere pro if you see any stopwatch beside of any property then you can animate that thing so i want to animate the scale property right so first i have to go at the beginning of my clip then i have to add a keyframe here which is scale click on this stopwatch it will turn in blue color then you can go here maybe at the end of your video and then you can increase whatever value you want I'm just increasing a little bit maybe 225 and now if I play it back then you will see the video is maybe zooming in gradually eight. because if you see here is a keyframe and here is a keyframe this two keyframe is holding the value the value of this keyframe is 200 and the value of this last keyframe is 225 right so over the time it is changing the value and that is the reason the zooming effect is happening so you can do this thing for position you can do this thing for opacity for volume whatever you want if you want to have a gradual animation go to at the beginning of this clip then decrease the opacity to zero and click here on this stopwatch that will hold the opacity value here and then if you play it back a little bit and then if you increase the opacity value maybe 100 percent what will happen it will increase the opacity gradually if i play it back you will see i've been learning filming the clip is time, not maybe six popping up suddenly it is gradually I've popping up I've been learning on my video for a so that is what you can do using this keyframe technique you can use this keyframe technique for text you can use this for shape you can use this for photos you can use this for video whatever you want so the basic thing is you have to enable the toggle animation for any properties and over the time if you change any value of that exact properties it will animate over the time so that is the basic so that is all for today i hope you have understand how you can use keyframe animation in adobe premiere pro if you haven't understood anything then you can comment me below i will definitely answer your questions so that is all for today i hope you have enjoyed this video if you have entered this video and learned something new from this one then you can give me a thumbs up and if you need this channel want to learn adobe premiere pro or video editing then you can subscribe to this channel to get more video just like this one i'll catch you guys on the next one until then goodbye